On today's episode of Identity, founder of the Young Women in Business Network, Ntabele Ngigoti, pops by for coffee. We take a short left to Limpopo to learn about the beautiful Babedi culture. What's Happening features the review of a health and fitness app and an animated movie. And we wrap up the show with a track from Jazeel Brothers featuring Aifani. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Moloeni kuni nonke babukeli bemzansi for sure. Ni bukele inkube tandwa kakule mzansi. E nkole za shukene e yolucha. I identity. Kona hapa ku SABC1 mzansi for sure. Tiku msasa zwenu uviwe kwala. Yesterday marked World Stroke Day, a day set aside to raise awareness about the serious nature of stroke, as well as to highlight the prevention, warning signs and treatment methods. The sudden signs of a stroke may be easily remembered by using the acronym FAST, which stands for face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty and time to call for help. Knowing what to look out for and what steps to take could save a life. Visit www.heartfoundation.co.za for more information. Tete mkuba nizilungsele lekwezo moye kile mizuze mashuma matatu. Nina nje tatani komiki yeni kofu oka nye iti nunwabele sinpatele kona. Kukala masitibane nondo nilitla na msanji kwi vengle iti kofu. Stockfills are a common South African practice, with the proceeds serving as a much-needed safety net for many families. The young woman hanging out with me today has taken this model and stepped it up a notch. Ntabele Ndikoti is the founder of the Young Women in Business Network, an investment company that aims to empower women and help them not only become financially independent, but also gives them the tool to be catalysts of transformation in their communities. This business network is also in the process of establishing Mzanti's first women's cooperative bank. Naturally, I wasn't about to pass on an opportunity to have this dynamic woman in the Identity Coffee Shop, and I'm looking forward to getting some financial tips from her. Ntabeling, welcome to Identity. Thank you so much, and thank you for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Please tell us about your upbringing. What was it like? So, I grew up in Botsavelo, okay. born and bred there in the Free State. Um, huge family, you know, typical grew up in a household where cousins were there, grandmother, grandfather, aunts and uncles. So I grew up in that environment. I uh, grew up in an entrepreneurial family. My parents have been in business before I was born. I think I was their lucky <laughs> child uh, because um, it was then where they found their, their feet, really. Um, two sisters, two brothers, I mean, between the boys, I'm highly protected. Uh, yeah, that's my kind of upbringing. Okay, so how was spirituality then introduced in your life and what role did it play in grooming you into the young woman that you are today? Uh, we are Roman Catholic, mm -hmm. so my grandmother would literally force us to go to church, you know, participate in church. And when I was in standard six years, I'm revealing my age, <laughs> <laughs> I went to a boarding school, a Catholic boarding school. So yeah, I grew up in that environment in high school from standard six to standard ten. It was Catholic, it was church Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> yes, so that's how we were, we were brought up. Very spiritual in the sense of we still do the traditional ancestral uh, slattering and so mm. forth. So that's the kind of environment that I grew up in. Okay, and so you have a postgraduate certificate in um, accounting from UJ. Please tell us what made you decide to go into this field of study. Sure, it was in high school, right? And I was very sporty. I did sports and I was really good in accounting. Mm. And I went to my principal, Mr. Mabinis, and I was like, Sir, I want to make money. I'm really good at spot and accounting. Which one is going to pay me more? <laughs> and he said, to be a chartered accountant, you know, so I held on to that. Mm -hmm. And at the time, I mean, my brother said to me, you have good results, why don't you go to university? Mm -hmm. But because I didn't know the difference between a technicon and a university, I was like, what I know is university, they do theory. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at that. Mm -hmm. Technicon is practical, so I'm going to technicon. And only to find that I couldn't be a chartered accountant, I mean, I couldn't do my honors mm -hmm. immediately after my diploma. Mm -hmm. So I had to do my bridging course, mm -hmm. which will then be equivalent to your degree. Mm -hmm. Hence, I went to UJ, mm -hmm. and then I went to do my postgrad at UKZN, 
failed so many times, mm -hmm. CTA, mm -hmm. three times, and I was like, nah, sure. this is not me. I'm failing, they're not paying me enough, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the end of that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ntabileng, you also uh, have a certificate in entrepreneurship from the Wits Business School. Yeah. Why did you decide to actually validate that you have an entrepreneurial spirit by having that certificate? Because it was when I left formal employment in 2009, and I was really trying to unlock these opportunities and I was saying, but I'm struggling. So clearly I need some academic background in this thing, you know. And um, I did that and then I realized entrepreneurship, just like theory at school, is totally different to what you do in, 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 real in reality, world, yeah. you know. And, but I needed that. I needed the background because that's what education does. It, di it disciplines you, mm -hmm. gives you directions, it opens up your mind in not just the world you're living in and in the theory of knowledge, you know, the body of knowledge of where it comes from, where it's going. So for me, that was very important. And when I did it in 2010, because that's when I did my certificate, and this business school then later on introduced masters in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go practice what I've learned here. And in 2014, I went back and I did my master's in entrepreneurship purely because of that, because eventually I want to lecture in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And it's because I strongly believe that we should introduce it at young at age, early you age, know, yeah. at, because we, most of us started selling sweets. That's business. Mm -hmm. uh, our parents have spasa shops. That's business. But for us as black people, it's not business. It has always been a way of life, survival. Mm -hmm. But we've never really looked at it in a business form. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to take back. I want to have that. And plus, when you say you have masters in entrepreneurship, people listen to you. Hello now. <laughs> so let's speak about Young Women in Business Network. What actually inspired its inception? I was knocking on doors. Um, I'm outspoken, I'm driven, mm -hmm. I'm all these qualities that are supposedly, you know, an entrepreneur. And I was really struggling and I was saying, but I can't be the only young woman who's going through the same thing. Sure. When I looked at the women that were exposed to business opportunities, they were the same people over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but what, what, what are we doing, mm -hmm. this generation? What is it that they have done that we can duplicate or learn from and then we can take the bait and feather mm -hmm. and then I then put this concept together and I said I don't want to succeed by myself but I want to succeed with other young black women mm -hmm. and men mm -hmm. and through that there's a business conference that we host annually uh, I started that in 2010 yeah. 2011 that was our breakthrough I mean we were fortunate enough to host the former president Tabombeki as our keynote speaker. Everybody wanted to attend this event. It was at that time when I found out Stockfalls make 44 billion a year. And that kind of like changed my life completely. Mm -hmm. And you, your primary focus is on women. Why do you think women should start having a culture of saving and investing, especially from a young age? Because we are, we, we run the households. Women have, uh, we are better payers than men. I'm sorry guys, but it's the <laughs> truth. You know, this uh -huh. is scientifically proven uh -huh. that women are better payers than men. Uh -huh. We might be talking about shoes and whatnot, but when it comes to the crux of the matter, we are the ones that will say, I need to pay school fees first mm -hmm. before I go to buy shoes. Mm -hmm. I need to have groceries at home. I need to take care of my parents. I need to do this. So, Ling, so let's get into our quick word game, all right? Yes. Let's have fun, okay. all right? And the game is called Guess the Person. So you need to guess the person as quickly as possible. Okay. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay. She was one of the first presenters of Jam Ali, famous for her line, Iyo Bangani Iyo. The Nolia Mashefo, yes. She started off as a beauty pageant queen, holding titles such as Miss Soweto and Miss South Africa. Now she's a media mogul and one of the names behind the lifestyle show Top Billing. Basitzana Kumalo. Of course. He's South Africa's current finance minister. Minister Pravin Gola. He's South Africa's greatest comedic exports and is the host of America's The Daily Show. Trevor Noah. Mm -hmm. She's the brains behind the forthcoming country's first cooperative bank and the founder of the Young Women in Business Network. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us on Identity. You're such an inspiration. Please keep that up. Thank you so much. We commend Ntabeleng for being an advocate for economic freedom amongst Mzansi's young women. We wish her well as she continues to soar. Join me after the break for a look at today's provincial story. 
Today we head to Limpopo to learn more about the beauty of the Babedi culture. And don't miss our media review segment which features a diet and workout app as well as an animated movie. See you in a moment. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity, the nation's favorite multi-faith youth show on the nation's favorite channel, SAPC One of Zanzi for sure. I'm Vive Koala. Thank you for staying with us. Ibala nam slanja di speke sa echika no shi elim popo. Apo kana sikute imini na malunga ekala elibizwa the movers. Aba num futo ngom tani so wabo we sinto obizwa di torupa. Chonga nukuba ekala le tulibu yen andonina. This is my identity. The Torumpa is a Bapedi dance routine indigenous to the Limpopo village of Chikanoshi. When Silon Tsurisane started a Torumpa performing group called The Movers, his aim was to not only preserve culture through this dance, but to also pass it on to the children in his community while keeping them off the streets. Group A killed the movers, the Wagalaur, Kimusipid, and Kilimusipid, and Shalakitu Fitamuna and Yaki, and a Gisipila Kitrupa Munaga in Cheki Dula Motona, one of Karaki Fitamoga Gravana Moki, Ugara Gavangatana, and a Kahupela Batuadi, or Thomas Croposas at the movers. Work it like Thomas Trupa Mo, Nanga, and Yaya Malvita, Kamutsungwa and Chichan, Kiboni Banavara Lucala was threatened Gavunji. Live December time, got Trupa Villa Gia December, Kakaraki to Chikamutsungwaga, so Nike Lil Sokil Lolo, Kapala Vatodigari, Kinako Dia Stropa, Stropa Sailor and Kisa Trupa, Kakwan Livatodi, Radia Stropa or Refetiche, maybe we hold Wu Gran Kivana. Bana rilu grupu kene le bona re go bukana pleke 1 re entertain re entertainment na ga bo re na ra go bukana ra opela moser ka moka batswadi ba rena ba ba le rena ba tore bogela series dirang ba thaba le rena moser ka moka ra fula bosinyi bo bole mmogae The Diduruba dance has been part of the Babedi tribe for over 100 years According to the tribe's elders the culture started when their ancestors went to Scotland. On their return to South Africa, they duplicated a Scottish troop dance and gave it a Sibedi feel. Trupa utuga nsicho sayona. Na eke ola, kino gira trupa ilo on. Asin tu elu rena, kiti tomeji. Kikira ile batu wakali, nchi batu rupa. Batu rupa ka, di drama sicha mkupa, ba itirechi ilu grupu, ba opel. So alina, kawona ori, kibi chewa ana, Lochela chaka le chela, diske dia kwela. Lerna rutoche trupa, ore rena rogolang, leba na ba basato tang. Batsi borunte, asintwe mutwa titometi. Kuko tuka kala ba tuka kala ba idir. Kisu chosa rena ba tuwa asu. Mupeleke nyawo re. Trupa kwenye lomo lerna garbela kwa rakira ba tuwa diwa na nchi ba idir. Especially like ika. Body 25 to December, and then Ellen Trilong or Batta Tosha would do to Kayona, but the Tavisha Kayon, and then we saw King Trilong or Ronjano, Leva Navar Nava Idira, and then if I keep her busy, even Chamon Longed in Chichadi Carata, or Lava Kitty Mamodi Strata Bushova, Nama Joala, Calvac and Laurel, Chachili Cababaya Trupe, and Rava Wava Lapin, the King Chuana Batta Pavaroval. Trupa came to a woods, Muma Pilong Arena, because Monta Arra, Trupa, Rofecha, Latter, Fecha Morla Pile, Rau Kucha, San or Catara, Rauza, Kaika, Rauja, and Kaika. Worker at the Trupa, Kalavagalor, Kishirilja, Lujidinchi, Tilo or Mibiri Satuta, or Chickis at Lomodi Dira, Jim Pitching Saritsevi. Rahatina wish of another trooping Ritivella or a basket by a Konomabiala. Go hoga di nyaupe, go di la midi re me ibi kamundi. Re kono ba kipa seifi, re ba le mudi trupe. Mo community ni yarna, trupe ya demuvas. Go batwa di ba barume chimba na kamu kamu na kamu. Orikira lukali bona, kibona ba mpan support. Kurba na ba kira lukali bona bo. Heki bolela, 
kire ba tswadi ki shota mo le mo lum ba gona go ntsha something ba ntushe gore ke ba lo kale bana ba bona ene gone le gore mo community mo ki o kira ke thulana le di group tshe di ngwe cause na ke gona go bolela le bana ba ka every 25 december ke tswa le bana ba ka isa le ka masa so nke ba thu ba tla le mo strategy re a samuel kosgweng ro khuna mafase ka mo ka bona ka rapela le bona ha o no ngwana o ke mo tswara ka sthar ko se ke a tseba re ba thuru tswa ka ditumelo ntja go fapana pelo ya mo thuke ona e lokishan selo bana ba nya ke o tswariwa ga botse o ba routeng tweba e tletseng o tla bona dilo tsa ga o di tlotswela pele e o re ke tlopo rapela ko sgwe ke le mogile gore segwa se no tswana le moya he ke rapela ko go leng silent ke sa di stepi ke selo le group ya ka rena silent ra rapela ra dia se re dirang doctor lo lo ke motho le bana ngore bontsha ditsela tshe di botse ke motho le bana ngore motivate le ge re dira lo tshe se ntjona doctor lo lo wa re botsha re bana ba ka motho le dirang a se yone a dia 1 2 3 then le dia 1 2 3 e o re khona ba successful ala ba tru pa lo lo ke re ba tshwara jwalo ka methala ka matjatsi ba ba tshwara ba tswele pele and then ba thele tshe lo lo ba le ka motswadi ya bona nna kana ko itlang ke rata o re tru pa ka nka bona e tswella maybe ko mabaleng a magolo like the stadium the opening ceremony like the world cup tru pa ka itseni ka mowe go tlo ba le di phetogo go tswa mo tru pe ye ya re na ye is my identity Thank you to Silon Tsudisane and his group of Ditorupa dancers for sharing their beautiful cultural story with us. Ukuba nani nalo imbaleni ngathandi kwabela nathi ngalo elomoya elokholo okanye elamasiko njengo Silo ningasithumela incwadi enzulu. Sithumeleni ku identity tv show at gmail.com. Let's take one more short break. When we come back, we jump straight into our media review segment. Today we're reviewing an app to help you get and stay fit and healthy, as well as a movie titled Finding Dory. We'll be right back. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back to Identity right here on SABC1 Zanzi for sure. I'm Vivi Kwala. Today's show got off to an uplifted start with coffee, cupcakes, and an inspiring conversation with the founder of the Young Women in Business Network, Ntabeleng Digozi. We then headed to Chikanoshi village in Limpopo to hang out with members of the Ditorupa group, the Movers. Now it's time to check out what's trending in cyberspace. Here is what's happening. Did you know that working out once a day not only helps reduce stress and tension in your body but also helps clear your mind? Today's app will help you do just that and more. It's an app that provides high intensity workouts and helpful meal plans. It's called Fit in 15. The Fit in 15 app aims to serve as a personal trainer and provide nutrition plans for those who want to stay fit and healthy but have a limited amount of time. The landing page offers a workout option, a nutrition option, tools and exercises. To get started, select the workout tab for either high intensity interval training, cardio acceleration, a fitness test or view your achievements. Select the info icon for a description of the workout. To generate a nutrition plan specifically designed for you, select the nutrition tab, enter your details and calculate your BMR. You can then create a new meal plan by selecting the number of days preferred. To view your meal plan, select a day and get access to breakfast, lunch, dinner and snack suggestions along with the number of calories per meal, the daily calorie goal and the meal calorie goal. Select the info icon for access to recipes with ingredients, preparation instructions and nutritional information. Select the tools option for access to a timer, a BMR calculator and the recipe book. Need some help with the exercise routines? Select the exercises option for a list of workouts using different exercise equipment such as a pull-up bar, 
a resistance band, a kettlebell or suspension straps. Click on your preferred workout for a short video demonstration. Work your way towards health and fitness with the help of the Fit in 15 app. With the festive season around the corner, that app is the right tool to help get your body on fleek just in time to hit the beach. Now on to our next review. It's the animated story of the forgetful fish Dory from the much loved Finding Nemo. It's a movie called Finding Dory. I lost my family. Where did you see them last? I forgot. I was looking for something and I... Okay, totally get it. Date night. I suffer from short-term memory loss. It runs in my family. At least I think it does. In a follow-up to the much-loved Finding Nemo, Finding Dory is focused on the forgetful but lovable fish Dory and her search to find her parents. Of course, she doesn't quite remember where or when she last saw them, but her quirky group of friends band together to help her with the search, which turns out to be a recipe for disaster. Just pick two and let's go. Dad. What? I'm kidding. I get the feeling they're shushing us for a reason. Like something with one big eye, tentacles, and a snappy thing? Well, that's very specific, but something like that. With Ellen DeGeneres once again lending her voice to the Dory character, and featuring the voices of Albert Brooks and Diane Keaton, amongst others, Finding Dory is a heartwarming tale of adventure, friendship, and unconditional love. It's a definite must-see. We have to say goodbye to Dory? I don't know why I thought I could do this. Dory. You are about to find your parents, and when you do that, you'll be home. Sasfiket kubelen kwen kuboya nam sanje ye identity. Satya mbukute undo ndo elu etla nam sanje. Iba letu ne refuse to zinike umfuto kubani kadi vengen. Sasya no guz palela. Tumeleni mwa ati kutile si identity tv show at gmail.com. Ningas fumana na ku social media. Funani identity tv show ku Facebook, ku Twitter na ku Instagram. Today we're playing out with the Jazeel brothers featuring Aifani. Here is their track called Nyege Nilo. From me, Buek Wala and the Identity Team, see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs> Nobody could cheat in Zolitanga. Nobody make kiss kiss in the disimpinch in the Zolileka. Funi Malen in Zobu Beja. Funu Tengi ring for the Wen and Funaka will play to assist Koli Uti Yundim.